There's been a lot of talk about Three of Coins since their launch last Friday. Prior to them being added to the game, the discussion was filled with Three of Coins ruining the game and talk about how they will trivialize the exotic chase. But as soon as they were added to the game, that same discussion shifted a full 180 degrees leading to countless community members stating that Three of Coins are broken and not working as intended. I initially was ignoring it and was going to simply wait for Bungie to say something on the topic, which at this time they have. Deej did tweet out the following. Our player support team is investigating feedback about Three of Coins. We'll share some details on our findings on Monday. For me, this tweet was enough to wait, but recently I've been streaming here on YouTube and almost like clockwork, I would have people join every couple minutes and ask me my thoughts on Three of Coins and ask me whether or not I thought they were broken. These viewers would be referencing a bunch of videos from other content creators or using Reddit threads discussing the topic, and my common response for those asking was, where's the testing? They've been out for 24 hours or 48 hours, or now at the time of this video going live, just around 72 hours. There was no empirical data, and I simply told them to wait for Bungie to respond, which they will later today. I made it known I was willing to accept them being broken, but I wanted numbers and no one could provide those numbers. The best I could find was a reddit thread that stated they did strikes for 12 hours and got 2 exotics, but if a strike takes 20 minutes, that's only 36 strikes, and getting 2 in that time frame is roughly a 5.5% drop rate, which per some of my past projects such as the loot from 100 adventures or loot from 100 heroic public events, that 5.5% was better than the drop rate I saw, which in those videos was about 5%. But now that I've said that, people might argue that a 5.5% drop rate when compared to a 5% drop rate isn't really much different, and I can agree to some extent. But for a second, we're going to take that reddit thread as fact, and then we're also going to take my projects as fact. I have openly stated that my projects are nowhere near fact and only should be taken as a baseline, but for this video, we're going to assume both instances are mathematically and realistically sound. Let's first take the reddit thread and scale it to 1000 strikes. At a 5.5% drop rate, over 1000 strikes, you could expect to get about 55 exotics during that time. We will then take the 5% drop rate that I have seen in my projects, apply it to strikes, scale it to 1000, which in turn generates about 50 exotics. The difference here is 5 extra exotics or about 1 extra exotic per 200. This is a small number, but it's still a buff. Nominal, but still existent. So this leads to two questions, are three of coins broken, and if not, why is such a small change occurring? This all stems from the idea behind additive and multiplicative percentages. I'm going to explain these concepts because not everyone understands them. Let's take two percentages, 50% and 25%. These are two random unnamed buffs that stack. In an additive situation, these are like the name implies, added together, thus creating an unnamed 75% total buff. However, in a multiplicative situation, they are multiplied together, then added to the original buff. In this case, we'll say the 50% is applied first, thus becoming the original buff. So then we take that 50% and add 50% times 25%, and this results in 50% plus 12.5%, or 62.5%. So in our situation, if we're trying to find out how a 50% buff and a 25% buff stack, when it's additive, it's 75%, but when it's multiplicative, it's 62.5% which creates a 12.5% difference. Now we can take this even further and add more buffs on top of each other. Let's pretend we have four unnamed buffs that stack. Those are a 50% buff, a 25% buff, a 10% buff, and a 5% buff. Let's put these in an additive situation and we have a 90% buff. But once we take these into a multiplicative situation, everything is thrown out the window. Because now, we have to take into account the order that they are applied. So for simplicity's sake, let's do the same order. 50, 25, 10, then 5. This results in a 63.81% buff, which is drastically different than the 90% buff when it's in an additive situation. And for this one, I'm going to show the math on screen now. This is the math behind four buffs of different values and a multiplicative situation added in the order of 50, 25, 10, and then 5. Now, by simply changing the order in which these are applied, we can get a range from that original 63.81% all the way down to 5.69%, with 22 other values in between them. When it comes to multiple multiplicative percentages, we have varying numbers and the difference can range anywhere from being about 27% off to being so far as 85% off. It all matters the order, and it all matters how many buffs are being applied. So how can we apply this to Three of Coins and Destiny? 
As we stated, based on my projects, exotics across the board drop 5% of the time, and we're aiming for 5.5% as shown in the Reddit thread based on my 20 minute per strike assumption. If three of coins are additive, they only give a 0.5% buff, but if they're multiplicative, they provide a 10% buff. This leads to a lot of situations, some stating it's working fine and some stating they are broken. So let's list some. First, let's say that they're multiplicative and intentionally giving a 10% buff resulting in an extra 0.5 exotics per 100 and they're working as intended. Another situation would be that they're additive and only give an extra 0.5% buff, again resulting in that extra 0.5 exotics per 100 and again working as intended. Then we have a third situation where they were intended to be an additive 10% but instead somewhere along they became multiplicative, whereas we stated only give an extra 0.5 when it's supposed to give an extra 10 per 100. And then we have a fourth option where they were meant to be an additive 5% buff, but the decimal point is in the wrong spot. So instead of 5, we have 0.5, which is the difference between 5 extra per 100 and 0.5 extra per 100. All of this is assuming numbers based on a few tests that weren't even remotely accurate. We don't know what's going on at the back end, and so far in the last three days, we do not have any data to back this. It's simply player experience. This also doesn't even mention multiple buffs, such as fire team medallions or increased drop rates that strikes or heroic strikes apply or drop rates from clan banners. All of this comes into play and the order they're applied matters. We simply don't know what's going on. At the end of the day, I'm all for saying three of coins are broken, but no one has provided a reason as to why. Is it the order that you applied your buffs? Is it because you didn't use a buff? Was it different in normal strikes than it was in heroic strikes? These things are important because right now the best example we have is a guy on Reddit who said he did 12 hours of strikes and that's it. The community needs to stop agreeing with what others say and just assume they are correct because that person said so. If three of coins are broken, that's fine. And feedback is important, but without looking directly at the source code that determines how exotics drop, assumptions are only that. Assumptions. The same people that complained that three of coins would ruin the game because they would be too potent are the same people that are now complaining that they suck and aren't worth the time. The Destiny community needs to make up its mind as to what it wants because right now we sound like someone who vaguely ordered a hamburger at a restaurant with quote condiments on it and then got upset when it arrived at our table with more than just ketchup on it. Right now, we just need to wait and see what Bungie has to say about three of coins and tread carefully when it comes to feedback regardless of the outcome. Regardless guys, I don't like doing these type of videos, but things sometimes frustrate me when the community gets all up in arms about things, especially when there's no math to back it. That's my whole thing. You guys know that. If, you're, if you've been a sub to me, you guys know that everything is, is math with me. That's just how I like things when people don't provide the numbers. I get frustrated. And that's where this video stemmed from. But like I said, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you're new, subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Join the Multilux Community Discord. Follow me on Twitter. I do all the other things listed down there. But for now, I'm going to get out of here. Say my name is Matt. And I'll see you guys next time.